Good afternoon. We are on the 7th of December. I'm very happy to be back. I did actually record this morning. I'm now going to share some more meditations and healing prayers for every day for the 4th of December. I'm going through my book seeing which days I missed and I'm going to catch up with those before I do anything new. Mind you, there might be too many, you're only allowed to do so many and upload in one day on YouTube. So I'm going to share with you the one I missed for the 4th of December. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you, who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. reading today is from Mark 6 verse 31. He said to them, come away with me by yourselves to a deserted place and rest for a while. I think I would love Jesus to say that to me away from all the noise, the busyness, the worries, the, what a wonderful request, reflection. This is something that most of us would never expect our boss to say. There is no telling what Jesus will do or say when it comes to taking care of his friends. You might be surprised with what he has to say to you, but you'll hear, only hear him if you spend time with him. That's a fact. If you don't spend time with Jesus, you're not going to know him. People are frightened of being alone and quiet, but I can sh assure you that that is the time when the Lord comes. I remember living alone in Orocabessa, St. Mary's, in Jamaica, totally alone, no nothing, quiet and peace overlooking the sea. It was perfect, it was beautiful spent hours in prayer and also on a computer at that time typing up things then, diaries and all sorts of things. But it was wonderful. I spent so much time with the Lord. You experience healing and tranquility. It's just beautiful. Anyway, the reflection and the prayer here. The prayer is my Lord Jesus, how much I need what you advise, and how often I ignore your words. Heal me of my busyness and fear of quiet time, so that I can rest a while with you. I think you need to find time before the Christmas rush to do likewise because it's what you need and you'll find at the time that you've spent in that quietness and you'll reflect back on it and you'll actually know you'll know that 
that is right, that is what you need. You know, with all this rush of buying presents, packing presents, I haven't started on writing cards, but that also is a, you know, really a long necessary task. But before you do all that, you need your quiet time. So look for the opportunity to have a quiet time with Jesus. You will benefit from it, I can assure you. So God bless you and thank you so much for listening. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. Thank you for sharing in your comments. I'll soon be back. God bless.